this week I got an email from Rania. She's getting ready to celebrate her anniversary, so I've invited her into my kitchen where I'm going to teach her and you how to cook a fantastic dinner. I'd like to introduce you to Rania. Rania, Hi. thank you so much for coming into my kitchen. I'm really excited to share with you this amazing recipe for a rosemary roast beef. So let's get started. Let's preheat the oven to 450 degrees. All right, let's get our ingredients prepared. Rania, could you please get the roast beef from the fridge? Yeah. Oh, nice. How many pounds is this? Uh, I had my butcher French trim a three and a half pound sirloin of beef. So I think that's plenty and you'll even have leftovers for days to come. The spices that I'm going to use on my roast, I'm using an allspice blend. Um, I'm going to use some salt to taste and some ground black pepper. We really want the spices to get infused into the meat. Let's take a couple of dashes of salt. This is sea salt, it's nice and coarse. Let's put some black pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil, and this is also going to let the spices kind of get absorbed and stuck to the meat. We're going to sear the roast beef before we bake it. So it gives it a nice brown coloring and it also allows it to cook a little bit faster before we bake it along with all the other um, veggies. Okay, now that is a perfectly seared roast. See how nice and brown it is on all sides? Mm -hmm. So it's ready to get baked into the oven. So these are going to be the bed that the roast is going to be cooking over while it's in the oven. So we're taking our onions and all we're going to do is we're going to quarter them. The yam, they add like a nice sweet flavor to this meal. Ginger is going to give it a really nice sort of fiery flavor. We're going to slice it really thin because why? The ginger can be a little overpowering. Get it? Smash. We're just going to put the garlic whole. It adds a really lovely flavor and it's healthy. Two dashes of salt, Let's get some black pepper, and why don't you drizzle some olive oil. How much olive oil? I would say a good half a cup. Olive oil will make the veggies nice and crispy too. I'm going to just get in here, I'm going to toss it all around together. Why don't you get the roast on the bed of our veggies, okay. and I'm going to get the rosemary, which I love the smell of. I'm just going to pinch the very top and then pull down. Now that all our ingredients are in our roasting pan, let's wrap it up with some foil, bake it in the oven for an hour and a half, and let it do its thing. Our roast is ready to come out. Oh, yum. Ooh. Right? That looks amazing. That looks amazing. Okay. See, I put my knife in there and it comes out smoothly. That's a real good indicator that it's ready to go. Take a little peek. Yes, no pink inside. So you know what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let the meat rest. So I'm just taking the veggies and I'm laying them around the perimeter of my serving dish. Then I'm going to slice my roast beef and our dish is ready to be served. So you can slice it as thick or as thin as you want. And I'm just going against the grain, as you can see. Our final dish of our roast beef with veggies is ready to be served. Mm -hmm. 